Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into NFT cryptos, some hidden gems, some low cap hidden gems, some DeFi cryptos, and some of the majors which are going off or set to potentially go off. Looking at Polkadot, Kasama, all the big ones which are making headlines. So we want to look at them in the charts to make sure that we are not buying the extreme greed. All right, so that's what we always do in the charts on the channel. If you enjoy it, let me know. Hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to helping out the channel and let's see if we can get it to 3,000 likes on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Make sure you've hit that bell notification icon. Let's dive in to the first chart. We want to look at altcoin season. We want to understand where are we at. I'm looking at BTC.D. So this is the Bitcoin dominance chart. Something we've been looking at since early January, at least for this double top. So it's something we come back to often because it just shows us how much is in Bitcoin compared to the rest of the market. So how much uh, is Bitcoin dominating the rest of the market? What we want to see is Bitcoin going on these falls. It doesn't have to be fast. It can be slow. But as long as Bitcoin is uh, falling, generally the altcoin is starting to move. And what we're seeing here is a descending triangle. That's a bearish pattern. You can just see the highs are getting lower and lower and lower. Very easy to see with the naked eye. You don't need to be a specialist trader to see that. And then the lows are just hovering at the same price. So eventually the probability stands that this low should get taken out and that low is sitting around 60. So it's about 60% Bitcoin dominance. What I'm looking for here using our fibs. So we know what we're doing here. It's a double top. When you use these fib extension tools, uh, what we look for is around 125% to 150% at least. GAN used to use 200%. So eventually, I think we'll get to that 200%, 40, meaning the 42% dominance for Bitcoin. But two, the two here means 200% of this range. So essentially, it measures it from this point to this point and projects it from this point here. So 100% of the range brings us to 57, call it 58%. 200% brings us down to 42%. Eventually, I do think Bitcoin will get there. Uh, Ethereum is probably going to push it down that far, especially with a lot of the other top 10 cryptos as well. So that's what we're looking for for a decent altcoin season. It's happened before. That was 2017. Bitcoin dominance just fell out of the sky. It came from the 90 something percents all the way down to 30 something percent. It only ma managed to make it to 70 percent this time and I think we'll probably go on some sort of fall again. Uh, somewhere into the 40s at this point could go a hell of a lot further and take out this low as well. We just got to wait and see. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. What we're looking at so far is this little bearish pattern at the moment and this could spur on the uh, continued altcoin seasons. Following on from Bitcoin dominance, we're going to go check out these projects here. Uh, in DeFi, I've got Reef, One Inch, NFTs, Shroom, TVK, G Swap, NFTs on smart contracts because the hype and the narrative looks like it's shifting across to things like Polkadot and Kasama. So we're going to check those out as well. Here are the market caps. These are our super small hidden DeFi NFT gems. G Swap 25, I have talked about that on a previous video, which the daily hodl did an article on my video for their website. So 25 mil and Shroom at 61 mil. Of course, these are massive. So they're not the small hidden stuff. It's this NFT stuff here that we're going to have a look at. TVK is the one that you know I talk about the most on the channel. These are the exchanges that you can find them on. SwiftX and CoinSpot, just for the Aussies. Uniswap, Binance for everyone. Aussies, international, anyone can get onto these. And you're going to have to get those to get any of the small DeFi or NFT projects. They're not going to be on these major Aussie exchanges. So Reef is our first one. What I'm looking at is a confirmation break, high volume, strong close, built on Polkadot. It's got that narrative going on. Shady supply adjustments, which we've looked at. Uh, so we've talked about that before. The contracts, they've, they've minted extra, if I can find that here, 4.7 billion. It changes their supply on uh, coin market cap as well. So we just scroll down. So 20 billion max supply now. Uh, I believe these have changed. This was the problem that was going on in February when they were minting new tokens and then going to sell it or get an investment from Alameda. And then that didn't go through. So now they have these 4.7 billion tokens and it looks like they continue to keep minting more tokens. It's a fresh new team. We can give them the benefit of the doubt or we can just scrap them. That's your choice. You have to do your, your research and decide which one feels right for you. In terms of the chart, I still like it. All right, so there's some potentially shady stuff going on. If 
anyone from the team is watching this or anyone knows someone from the team and they want to send this to them, I'd be more than happy to sit down and do an AMA with them on the channel to understand more about Reef. But for now, all we have to work from is charts. And like I said, this is the one, uh, this is what I'm looking at here. This is high volume, if I can get that so you can see it. There's the high volume here. We've broken through these highs, broken through these highs and closed above these highs. So these highs are sitting at, if I give you a dollar figure, just above the point, uh, so the 4.4 cents thereabouts, so 4.3 uh, cents there above, and it's starting to hold its ground. So there are some good signs so far. The lows have continued to get higher, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, on the way up, even though we had that scare from Alameda. So it's holding its ground considering the news that's come out from it. So Reef is still on there. Whether I want to load up more, not at this stage, I'm still not sure about them, but I still have a smaller position than I did before. Reef Bitcoin also holding its ground. You can see these levels at around 60 Satoshis. That looks good. Again, the same deal. High volume, break of these highs, nice close. So if I zoom in just to show you that a bit closer, that was the 29th of March. That bar there is a potential confirmation. So far, it's got the volume the high close, we, we've already said that, and it's broken past its 50% level, which is pretty strong going as well. That's one confirmation. You generally want to see more than one, but it has a lot going for it. So I'm happy with that as, uh, as a look at my trade going in the direction I want it to go in, which is up. So that's Reef. That's our DeFi project, 500 million because they've minted so many more tokens and the supply is out there. So it's just shot that price up. They haven't uh, dump them onto the market so that hasn't suppressed the price so you know that's that's a bit of a tricky one as well but the chart looks okay provided the team that is in control of those tokens just don't go and dump them on the market things are looking good all right one inch accumulation no confirmation yet so these are not buy signals but accumulation is a great place to be dollar cost averaging in so uh, i've got some other videos coming up on the channel today i'll have another one just on news and then I want to do a, a video on mistakes. So biggest cryptocurrency mistakes. So if you like the sound of that, let me know. Hit me in the subscribes and join us for that. So one inch right at the top. And I'm going to talk about dollar cost averaging in that video, which is why I brought it up. So accumulation, I've got this zone here. This is where I was looking at an entry because we've got the swing out, high volume, broke above, and then it came back down. But it didn't break through my, my stop level. And I generally like to have about... 30, 25 to 35%. And so my stop is sitting underneath these swing lows and it keeps me within my area. Like if it's less than 25%, great. But more than 35%, it starts to, I, I just sort of let, let the trade run a little bit until I get some more confirmation. So this is sitting well. It's moved back up uh, above the lows. It's had higher volume than the last week or so, higher close. Uh, you can see the the close there it's still sitting nice and comfortably and i'm basically at break even on this particular trade it's bounced off the 50 percent level which is fantastic uh, next thing is we want to see it uh, accumulate above four dollars twenty because this if it breaks down from that 420 then it's probably going to test the 50 percent level again which is around the three dollars fifty and ideally that's not a good sign if it keeps coming back down to test that uh, it just turns into a descending triangle and that can break down. But for now, one inch is looking pretty good. Project is very good also. DeFi, two projects that I like. NFTs, big stuff. Let's do TVK first because we've talked about it before. TVK, we're going to look at it, uh, USD and a quick look at the Bitcoin chart as well because we want to make sure that we're increasing our Bitcoin position. People often ask why... Are you, why, why do you refer to it in Bitcoin value? Why do you refer to altcoins in, in Bitcoin value? Because at the end of the day, you want to reduce your risk. And if you're buying small cap cryptocurrencies, you have extremely high risk. So if they're not outperforming Bitcoin, then you're better off holding Bitcoin because Bitcoin is a lower risk. Let me know what you think of that. Let me know your thoughts or if you don't understand that, I might have to do a separate video on it altogether. But it's really just that simple. So right now, TVK is holding its ground against its Bitcoin value. So if Bitcoin goes up, TVK uh, may stay at the same price in its US dollar value because it may go down in its Bitcoin value. So Bitcoin drops, TVK's USD value can still increase if Bitcoin is also increasing. You like my hand signs there? That's how it works. 
So TVK, Bitcoin's holding st steady. If TVK, BTC holds steady or any cryptocurrency holds steady against its Bitcoin value and Bitcoin goes up, that means its dollar value is going to go up. So TVK, USD would go up. You would retain the same amount of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going up. You're getting more dollars because now you're exposed to Bitcoin and to the US dollar. Okay, so looking good here. Accumulation zone, my purple box is sitting there. TVK, BUSD, if I don't have, I'll move this. If you haven't got a full position yet, this is uh, an accumulation area that I personally like because it's within my zone above these old highs and it's it hasn't broken out just yet. So looking steady, 80 cents. We've had a low of 62 cents with the highs at around 90. So somewhere between that 60 and 90 cents accumulation so far. Big volume, break through these tops, coming back on lowering volume and testing these highs again. I don't think it's going to last. I think we'll probably end up seeing it fall back to the 60s or 70 cents as it needs to come back and test this again. We break through that, great. My position's set. I'm ready to go. If not, time to buy more, sell off some other cryptos, get some USDT, buy up some more TBK. TBK looks good. We can get that everywhere. Swiftex, CoinSpot, Binance, you can get a link to those in the description down below. Get your $10 of free Bitcoin and on CoinSpot and Swiftex or save yourself 10% in trading fees on Binance using that link down below. Shroom is our next crypto. It is setting up very nicely. So what I've got here is a breakout trade. It's a sushi hard fork, low cap. It's anonymous. So there's some risk here, high risk. The team is anonymous. They, they want to remain anonymous because they're working on other projects. You can find all of this information on CoinMarketCap. 80% of the tokens are released which is a nice sign. So there's there's not a lot being held by the team. Uh, and then it's an NFT DEX. So it encompasses the DeFi and the NFT all in one space. Uh, so you can find this on, only on Uniswap at the moment. There's a couple of other exchanges, but nothing that I would run out to use. So Shroom is right here, $1.22. Look at this, our chart is heading up. It's moving up against Bitcoin. It's moving up against US dollar value. Shroom, Shroom, Shroom. Uh, fully diluted is 77.7 million, good sign. And now we've hit 60, yeah, 60.9 million. So these are all pretty good numbers, still low market cap. All the details are found on this page, so you can find all of that we just talked about. Uniswap, Bilaxi, Bitforex. As I said, Uniswap is where I'm at. And for Shroom, the only chart we got here on our trading view, which you can also get a link to in the description if you want to use this, is. Uh, wrapped ETH shroom. So this is a little bit harder to get a read on. But essentially, your shroom is going up in value because the ETH is going down. All right, so one ETH used to be able to buy 15,000 shroom, and now one ETH only buys about 1,500 shroom, which makes sense. ETH is about 1,700 US dollars. Shroom's about $1.20. So one ETH is going to buy about 1,500 shroom. And this pattern looks like is about to get destroyed. It's just about to drop out of nowhere and just fall from here. Another little trick you can do here is use the cog icon in the bottom right, invert scale, and that'll give you uh, the shroom price against Ethereum, but you've flipped it, all right? So now you can see the patterns in a bullish sense. So this is bullish for shroom and still bearish for Ethereum. So it just gives you that other view on the market. And you can see the numbers are all in reverse as well. But it's just so you can check patterns on the flip side. Next on our list is G-Swap. Now I have to mention, you guys know, I have TVK, one inch, Reef. I don't have any Shroom or G-Swap yet. I've got to get onto Uniswap to get them. I like the look of them. I'm not gonna buy everything, but I think I'm, I'm gonna play my bets on the smaller cap here on $25 million G-Swap NFT. DeFi marketplace for in-game items. This is the market cap. It's just sitting steady. Price, it's had its break from its lower 50 cents, now currently sitting around $2.70, $2.80, three bucks. But on the chart, you can only see it at 270 for the last closing price. And fully diluted, 56 million, market cap 24 million. So uh, just a bit under 50% of the tokens are on the market and Uniswap is where it's at. Now here is GameSwap against the wrapped ETH to get a price on it, get our chart going. We've seen it come back to the old top that it had just in November 2020. Now GSwap is on the move up, 24 million market cap. 
remember these are very low market caps. You could see your portfolio swing 50%, 70% before you get that 10, 20, 100x. So if you're not ready for that, these are not ready for you or well, you're not ready for these. So just keep that in mind. We can see this, we've got some higher lows, higher highs. It's looking ready. It's looking like it's setting up. Here's the top. We want to break through those levels and obviously we want to get further beyond the 0.002 level. That is the confirmation for me. So I'm going to use an alert up there. If I miss out on where we are here to that area, that's only 15%. So I could set some alerts, which is what I've got here. That's what the little orange triangles are. Set the alerts as they break these highs. That's a good entry point. So it's only 20% from where we are now. Reason being is it could easily just dump 30 50% from this point. I don't think it's going to happen just yet. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to go north, especially if we've got that altcoin season coming up. So this, I am considering putting a smaller position on to something like GameSwap. Obviously, there are fees on Uniswap. So if the fees outweigh any sort of gain that you can make on here, then there's just no point. But this is the small cap hidden NFT gems that everyone is looking for. They're on Uniswap. NFT smart contracts. Let's have a look at the, the pricing for DOT and KSM. DOT is setting up pretty nicely. We had a dump to $27 around that level, 28 to 27. Now we're starting to make our way north again. The volume is decreasing. So it's not just there yet. So what I want to see is the market to hold its ground at least at 31 to 33. So that's the level there. That's the swing low here that I'm looking at. It's not a technical swing low, but you can see the market tried to test 31 and it's moved away from it. So that's why I've got 31 at that level. And then 33 would be a uh, much better level for it to be able to hold and then start to move its way north again. We looked at this when we were reviewing timeframes. And so I've got a bit of a time frame out here between 50 and 70 days from the top, which leads us very much into August. And that could be a time frame that we, that we can look for for DOT to then cross its highs, potentially even its all time high. So DOT is looking like it is also setting up, especially with that narrative coming across that there are more NFTs coming to DOT. And, you know, Ethereum also looking pretty strong. So this whole smart contract space is going to get a little bit of a run on for this next part of the altcoin season. I'm not sure whether it's going to be as big as what we saw here, that 10x. I don't think it can. This, this means DOT would have to go to 300 billion seeing as that it's 31 billion now. I can't see that happening considering Ethereum's only 200 billion at the moment. Last one I've got on the list is KSM and that is Kusama. So Kusama USDT. This is really high at the moment. This is what everyone is talking about. I wanted to bring it up on the channel today because of how much it has moved. It is extremely high. It, can't, it can go much higher, but the risk is the downside to the potential smaller upside. Now, the market cap is 4.5 billion. Could it go into the top 10 and get to around 10 or 15 billion? Sure, but you're only tripling your money, only I say, you know, and that's not guaranteed either. So I'm using my swings here and percentage gain from where we are now at $544 up to around this 200%. That gives me 66% gain. If I go to my 300% of a $1,400 KSM, it sounds incredible. It's 150%. So it's it, it's potential. I'm not saying it's going to go there, but these are the targets that I would have in mind as the market continues to move up. Now, I think it will break out of this logarithmic resistance. This is a pretty strong log resistance. And if it does break through, that will send it to the moon. That will send it really, really uh, skyrocketing which price will it hit anyone's guess at this point if it gets into that top 10 makes it around say 13 or so billion that's going to bring us up uh, 100 200 percent so 200 percent from where we are now is about a 1600 dollar ksm quite possible that brings it into the top 10 200 percent if that's worth the risk to you why not ksm looks like a pretty decent uh, run on at the moment, especially with all the hype around it, the NFT space, Polkadot doing its thing. It looks really, really good. So that's what I wanted to bring to you guys today, that they are my DeFi NFTs and NFTs on smart contracts. So we've got, there's a bit for everyone here. You want the, the safer stuff? Dot is my pick. You know, I've got Dot, we've talked about it on the channel. 
for a long time. TVK is my pick out of the NFTs. It's something a little safer. GameSwap is the, the gamble, $25 billion market cap. DeFi, Reef, still got some of this, still got in one inch. This is the DeFi plays. I like these. Accumulation zone, potentially not going to break out in April, but it's in an accumulation zone. That's when you want to be buying stuff, not when it's on the massive run. And then, of course, like I said, Reef, DeFi space. So NFT plays, let me know what you think it would be a great NFT for your play. Do you see any of these as something that you want to hold? Small caps, 25 million. Do you want to get into something that you can actually buy on an exchange that you're comfortable with? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit me up in the likes. See if we can get to 3,000 likes. goes a long way to helping out the channel. Subscribe if you are new here. Links to all of those exchanges are in the description down below. SwiftX, CoinSpot, Binance, all down there. Get your 10 bucks free or 10% off with Binance. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for joining me on another video. We'll check out Ethereum and Bitcoin in the upcoming video, which I'm going to do on you. So you should get two videos today. Lucky you. I'll catch you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.